but we are currently doing a VOD review for Siren. We'll just call him Siren. Yeah. And sure. um, what ELO is this, friend? Uh, this is, uh, I think, around gold one or something. Yeah. Around gold one. one. Okay, fair enough. Now, I, I was able to see um, a little bit... Well, I, I saw the OPGG. It looked like this game was pretty close, but you guys ended up losing. So we'll see yeah. if you could have done some small things or such to kind of uh, get the game into your favor. Mm -hmm. Before the game, before we start, I'm just going to take a look at the matchups really quick and see maybe what we can do before the game starts. So uh, first things first. Okay. Usually, Canes will start on their rates. So we're assuming the Kane starts here. Against Kane, we want mm -hmm. to be very conscious of um, our jungle camps and make sure that we don't leave too many for him to take. So something, for example, that we don't want to do this game is start topside and gank top lane because then Kane will come in and very quickly take all of our jungle and we will struggle because we can't invade as easily <laughs> as he does. Uh, okay, um, funny thing, I think I did exactly that. <laughs> did you? I, I think so, yeah. Oh, That's really fine. I guess that comes with experience. We'll see in a second here. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I just really like um, the the red side full clear thing with, uh, with it's... like uh, Wraiths, um, Red, and then Crux because it gives you the level 3. And I don't know. I just really like it. But maybe really it wasn't that optimal. Right. The, it's good, but you have to keep in mind those junglers that are really good at um, clearing the jungle and the junglers that want to start like red Krugs and then, you know, scuttle, maybe invade your jungle uh, mm -hmm. or just junglers like Kane that can go in very easily. You don't want to give them information like, oh, I'm top lane, check check my bottom side jungle and steal everything from mm -hmm. me because it, it's, yeah. a, it's a loss condition, kind of. If they put you too far behind, you won't be able to fight them later on. Um, as far as lane matchups go, Ezreal and Thresh won't really be killed. Um, Brand could be killed, probably, if you okay. try to do that. Ari... Yeah, it's not really a um, early gank thing. Brand? I don't think that they already have uh, a lot of pressure in mid lane first. Um, mid lane, mid lane, you can't know because uh, it's just. Ari's I don't think really Cassidy sick. does enough damage to Ari. If she's low, you might be able to do something. Um, top lane, Darius usually pushes, so top lane is actually a decent gank. Um, mm -hmm. I think that. I think what you could have done here is just start at bottom side and then work okay. your way top to gain top lane. I, I think that would be the safest thing to do. We'll see what the two teams end up doing here and whatnot, but that's kind of my take on it. Alright, so... Safe placement, that's okay. Uh, you don't really have to be worried about placing your ward in here unless you're mm -hmm. up against like an Urga or a Twist of Fate or a Pike, something that can really punish you for doing that. Darius okay. probably won't do anything. Even if he pulls you in, you just walk away from him. Not a big deal. Um, True. Yeah. Well, Ari is Ari's a little bit problematic. I don't know, but just, just keep in mind, this is cool if you're against something that can really fuck you over if you walk close to here. Yeah, I usually uh, try to place wards um, inside the river to know where people for which scuttle um, the other jungler. Yeah, no, for really. sure. But, I, you know, it's always better to get the ward here than it is to get the ward here. But this, yeah, yeah. sometimes this is required. So I like to see that you're doing okay. the safe one. But I'm just pointing out, if you do this every game, that's probably not I, I don't usually. I usually try to ward pixel and, and usually okay. I also buy the pink ward for bottom side. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so um, first thing. You don't want that girl leashing. You want to start here because you don't want to take the extra damage from the Krug. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, okay, no, yeah. No, this does not work as well. Because you should be able to finish uh, Wraith without taking any damage. If you watch me do it, I start mm -hmm. here, Q. I hit it, and then I walk towards here. 
and then I walk around the left side to get the queue again. And then I walk down and then back up and then that's it. Um, yeah, I don't but, tight enough. Right. Uh, well, it's it's because you're starting from the wrong side. So they all kind of like gang up on you and the big guy, they, they don't like, they don't group properly. The, the way that I found out to do it is just start here, go to here, go down and then back. And then that'll keep you at full HP. Okay. Uh, and after you do that, you'll be able to hate spike this once and then W it. So it will start healing you. You just have to make sure that you don't get hit by it. You're cutting this actually too much. Too much. Yes, yeah. you're cutting this too much because you're going, it's getting one auto attack in, you're getting one auto attack in. That's bad because you have a higher attack speed than it does. Uh, you have an attack speed of 0.7, it has an attack speed of 0.5, therefore you're taking extra damage. Um, what you should be doing is you should be doing at least two autos and then moving back. And if you can't manage that, you won't be always able to do that. But generally speaking, if you get used to its attack animation, you can do two auto attacks. And then if you feel like it, it doesn't have the attack queued up, you can step back to reduce your damage. Right now you're taking extra damage. And you, right. you're also sacrificing clear speed. And you also fucked up there, but that's okay. <laughs> So you've used your potion already. Yeah, I I got kind of low. Yeah, it, okay, you're cutting too much here too. You're sacrificing like boatloads of uh, extra damage from your auto attacks right now, which is slowing down your clear by a lot. Okay. Okay, yeah. so Kane did this, this, blue, and then this, and then he fell a three, and we're fighting here. Okay. Fear this. He shouldn't be able to kill you past your flash. You could, uh, W is almost up. W him. Okay. That's your guy. He should be dead. Yes, he's dead. Okay, cool. He's just, he's an idiot. He doesn't know that he doesn't have enough damage to kill you there. All right, so we recalled. Uh, honestly, he sh like that shouldn't. If you did the uh, camps properly, you wouldn't have even worried about um, him being um, potentially being able there. to kill you. Yeah. yeah. So while we're doing this, we're looking bot. Bot's not gankable because one of them is too low. You don't want to fight that. Mid lane is full HP and is pushing into mid lane. You can't fight that. So we just continue our farm. You always want to check lanes and. Oh, you fucked it up again. Uh, this is not the best idea in the early game. You will take a lot of extra damage. It's okay in the later stages of the game when you just need the clear speeds, but you'll take extra damage doing that. Um, all right. Well, she actually pushed back in, and now she's half HP. So yeah, you could totally potentially gank mid lane. I would actually try to gank mid lane instead of wolves here. This is yeah. a this is a beautiful setup when when the jung when the mid laner is here and this is here and you can stand here. This is amazing. Because, see, she doesn't have any vision of this, so if you stand right here, you pop up behind her right away, and then she's just like, oh, well, uh, I guess I die now. Alright. Oh, I think you're going now. Yep, you realize? You want to get close to her? Yep. Alright. Uh, you might have been able to get in with your E to guarantee the Q, but that's okay. You It worked out. Now you you kind of gambled that kill because oh, you don't want to keep oh wait uh oh you actually killed him okay I did not think that you guys would be able to chase him down I was wrong yeah he just hit level six truth <laughs> I I did not think you guys would be able to chase him down that was pretty far that you guys went yeah, I think it was pretty risky to commit down with the flash it's all right it worked out. Alright, so top lane pushed in, can't gank. Mid lane not there. Bot lane still low. <laughs> yeah, don't gank lanes that are too far behind. Hold on, okay, I wanna see something. You were 100% dead here. I'm curious to see if you got the wolves, because that was basically all you could do once she showed up. Right now, your objective is to get this shit. Nope, you fucked up. <laughs> yeah, I fucked up the big one. <laughs> she, oh. she got an extra. She got 400 gold for that. That's funny. Oh my god. Yo, this guy doesn't know what's going on. That's really funny. Um, Alright, so that's really unfortunate. 
Uh, that's actually a really weird thing to happen in gold. Laners generally don't invade jungle like that. That's like pretty next level of her, honestly. Uh, that's that's just unfortunate for you. Nice. The good old Interoni. Interoni for support. That's that's not the best thing you could do here. Uh, so top lane is getting pushed. Mid lane is has no ulti, but you don't want to fight her by yourself. You don't have a little six. Okay, we got a little bit of farm. It's fine. All right. Um, so the game starts now. Yeah. Okay. So we just loaded into the game. Um, let's see what we can do. Top lane is pushed, but it's Darius. Darius has some HP. Aurelia has whatever. Darius is ahead. Um, mid lane, she does not have ultimate yet. I don't know if you would... Wow, it's a 130 second cooldown. I did not know that. That's actually really, really long. Uh, alright, so mid lane has no ultimate, but she's actually a really good player. What the fuck? What is, she... what is this next level? Um, alright. I, my gut would say that your best bet is probably to get bot lane. They've been pushing 24-7 and they're pretty aggressive. I think you could get a bunch of stuff I off know, them. Um... What, uh, how far uh, behind were, uh, where our bot, was our bot? Your bot lane? Yeah. Uh, oh, well, Lucian has 3-0 because of the stupid stuff that happened there earlier. But Lucian has a little bit of MR and he's on half a components. But this guy has a man immune. I don't know. I think you could still kill him. Yeah. You know what, Geek? Lanes that are straight up feeding. But... Um, ganking aggressive level 5 bot laners is okay. Oh wait, they're not level 5. No. Um, well, I don't know. I'm kind of scared of Brand too. He had he has everything up to. Let's see what happens here. I would've gone bot. I would've gone greedy for the shutdown, I don't care. Nice. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, we're trying to reset. This is good. We ran a little bit too close to him. A little bit too soon. You definitely want to get yourself back in. Yeah, I was really scared there. I, sh I, c I think I could have uh, hold my ult there. Mm. Your ulti was really good, but... um, you just face check in the bush. You should have let the other guy face check the bush. There's no reason to do it yourself. All right, let's see what happens here. Now, you see, now this I don't really like because you don't have your ultimate anymore. Um, yeah. I think I'm, I think I'm straight up inting here, but I can't really remember. You have to target that guy. This guy is in for enough. He will kill you. Uh -oh. I missed it. Ow. <laughs> You would have killed him, actually. If you targeted him with the charm, you would have killed him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ezreal and you would have had enough damage to finish him off if he's too sheed. Um. Now that I see the VOD, I also realize I, I play way too far. Um, I'm, I'm really, really passive. I don't go as close as I could, I think. Like I'm saying, um, a lot back, way too much. At what point? Um, wait a second. I'll slow it down. There, there. I think I could have stayed so way, way far off. Yes, I, I agree. Right here, when when um, as soon as they start killing Thresh, yeah. you can basically run at them because they will will not respond fast enough to switch targets. Yeah. Um. So yeah, so w that guy, the... run at him. Yeah, charm Lucian, just walk up to him. Mhm. Mm yeah, and eat him. He has nowhere to run. This guy already uses spells. Yep. I mean, you see that you're able to get it off. You're able to use the spells on him. You just didn't have the charm on him. He would have died. 
Okay. Um. Ow. Sorry, I just bit my tongue. <laughs> There's a way to do this. A good, there's a good way to do this and a bad way to do this. I, I so my mm -hmm. gut always tells me to go like this and come from here, because usually when people recall, they recall right away. This is really really dangerous overall though. Oh, they saw you. You know that they saw you. Mm -hmm. Um, you could you could have maybe tried to look it for them here, but that's. That's scary territory, they could have killed you there. What the hell? <laughs> he's he's straight up inting. My guy is stupid. Okay. So, what does the game look like now? Um yeah, yeah, now usually the phase begins where I kind of start to lose uh, focus, I think, uh, of, um, of my jungle path and what to do, really. Like, the early game is pretty easy for me also to kind of know where the enemy jungle usually is or something like that but now I kind of, yeah, I usually start to lose track a bit I don't really know how to what to do now really um yeah um so you want to have your wards down on cooldown mm -hmm. when your ultimate is down you want to be farming that's easy just do a like efficient path You had a real ulti for that, right? You did. Yeah, yeah. I think I, I think I got stunned. Yeah. Yeah. Um, hmm. Yeah. Well, what you should have done is you should have ultied because it kills Brand before he uses his Q. So I shouldn't even gone for the for the charm and the Q just uh, straight up ulted him. I think that would have been enough. Yeah. Because um, he has a cross on him. That means the Q is enough to kill him. Um, I think your best bet here, because of 2v1 versus a brand, you know that the brand is going to shoot the projectile at you. You either have to dodge it preemptively by queuing him and then going straight down here right now. And using your hate spike to kill him. Uh, range hate spike like this. And then if he, after he throws this thing, you go in and try to do whatever. Or you just ult him right now um yeah. and then you want to ult in this direction reset your stealth and then fight him if you want to or just run away like this if you ulti back towards your tower he's gonna kill you um i just gave him a lot of gold yeah yeah it, it, the main thing is just you have to know that brand is going to be using his uh stun towards you you have to act around that you can't just run at him and expect to kill him. I do that sometimes in a stream, but that's just because I don't think. <laughs> um, but yeah. Alright. You still have your ulti. Generally speaking, after you die, it's uh, a good idea to go farm the jungle and then go fight. Because if you go fight right away and you die again, you lose the game. Mm -hmm. I should pop on mm -hmm. top here, right? Yeah. Yeah, should put for top jungle for top camps. Hmm. He probably gets a kill, nice. Hmm, you didn't have to hold there. Yeah. There was a safe kill also on Irelia or me. Nah, no, you really don't have to ult there, okay. Now that you ult it, you want to go farm, um... Alright, 
that guy's safe. <laughs> Unfortunately, he dies for it, I think. Hmm. Poor one. Though. Yeah. All right. That's that's a lot to take in. Let's go back for a second. See how you yeah. did in that fight. So. This is fine. You really shouldn't chase him at this point because there's just no way to kill him. You don't have ult, you don't have smite, you don't have anything, you know. He just runs. So there's no point. That's like unfortunate. This is kind of whatever. The only thing I could say is um, when you're not sure after fighting in lane, it's usually better to re like to run back and not go towards the side bushes. Same thing here, because oftentimes you can die there. That's all there is to say about that. Um, how many items are you at right now? Not that many. So, I'm not telling you much about this game right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's because Evelyn is pretty simple in the early game. You just farm when you don't have your ulti. And you gank when you do have your ulti. And the only time you gank when you don't have your ulti is when somebody's doing something stupid. So, so far, I think it's been okay. We're really waiting until, um, uh oh. This is over. Rip this. I think you were still dead, though, actually. Alright, whatever. Hmm? Sorry, I, I'm just I'm just saying that was whatever that you died. We're just seeing where you go from here. There's so many fights. What are your items at? 23 CS, Aether Wisp. It's 18. They have a lot of towers. Uh oh. You really don't want to fight him. No, but I have to hold it. All right, he flashed out. Cool. That's fine. It seems like something bad happens right now. Uh oh. Ah, uh, yeah. Ooh, that's really bad. Uh, hmm. I don't even know what to say about that, honestly. It's just like, they were all grouped up. You guys went for a fight, you got destroyed. Um. Hmm. Hold on. No, you don't. Uh oh. Uh. You have to eat him. Ooh. You have to eat him a little bit faster just because it gives you movement speed to get away. Uh. Well, shit, man. <laughs> this is rough. That that went bad really, really. Bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys lost two of him. Yeah. Alright, well he's dead. Nice little shutdown. Um yeah, I was actually really happy at that kill because our uh, ADC was kind of behind the whole time and now it's getting back mm -hmm. Let me watch this game to the end and then wind back and try to think of something to tell you what to do better, sure honestly, like, 
I don't know. Um, the uh, screen share quality is really, really choppy now. I don't know why. It's like one 160p or something. Oh. Let me see. Oh yeah, <laughs> it does look pretty bad. Yeah, you can you can just uh, restart the screen share. I think. Sure. I think that should fix it. <laughs> Because in the beginning it was really, really good. Is it better now? Uh, yeah, a bit. I think. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. Alright, hold on. Uh, you, you guys just have. Is it still bad? Yeah, but whatever. I can I can kind of see what's going on. Okay. You might just have to swap the stream. I don't know. Just for this one. Yeah, I, I had to stream on the other, um, the mm -hmm. other uh, desktop anyway. Alright, so you gotta kill, you still have your OP. Do you have flash? You do have flash. Somebody should die here. Really? Ooh. Cheese or Q here? Oh, 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 let me see what actually happened here real quick. Uh so you fall back, you re stealth. Yep, you're stealth. Here we go. You kinda wanna go for Lucian, I think. Mm -hmm. Yep, Lucian is the most fed. So... Alright, you did hit her with the Q. Mm. A little bit too early. I just don't like the way that you did that. Um, because you have Flash, and they're all grouping up, so you probably want to use Flash in this team fight somehow. Which means that you want to be... Okay, you're in stealth right here. You're looking for that guy. Um... I think Flash. what I would have done here hmm? is Q, Flash, E him, and then ulti the entire team. And I think that gets both her killed and him killed. Q, Flash, E this guy. Deals a bunch of damage to him. And then she probably dies from my team or something. But Brand also dies. Brand ended up dying from the tower, I think. I don't know. Realistically speaking, we want to kill that guy, but he's not close enough, but I, I don't really like First of all, I don't really like just simply walking at Ari because that gives them a lot of time to react and try to kill you With either Ari charm or like brand EQ or something like that Generally speaking if we have flash up and it's like the, the situation looks that bad you, you definitely want to flash in and try to do something with that um, And yeah, I just think that Focusing Ari in that fight doesn't do you much because I think that Ari dies no matter what happens there. It's just like when you ulti I think that your ulti would have just killed her because she gets charmed afterwards, too. I don't know. It's it's really bad either way. Hold on. Let me go back and let me just see the game from like here. Look at pathing. The, the late game there's not much to say about it because it's just like the enemy team group. You guys didn't group. You guys took a fight or two and then they just completely destroyed you, you know? Mm -hmm. Um... So we could be talking about mechanics a little bit, but it's it's ultimately... You're gonna lose that. Let me see, I'm just gonna X8 and look at your path really quick. Um... So Scuttle Crab finished off the race. Wolves came back up, we died to that girl, because she was next level. Okay. Boom back. Bought. Oh yeah, mid lane was just to cover mid a little bit, that's fine. Yeah. Um and then we saw Ari coming into our jungle. That's fine. She fucked up, whatever. This Do you still have your ulti? Yeah. Okay, this is fine. After all of this happens right now. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Right. Let me see what's going on right here. After this happens, my instinct is to go take Krugs, but we see this guy going in, so it's fine. Never mind, it's fine. Right, and this is where these are ultimate. Okay, 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 okay. Do you go to farm as soon as this happens? No. Okay, so this. Okay, here we go. We found a mistake. 
This is bad. Um, after you use your ulti and you do a bunch of stuff, uh, a bunch of fights and stuff, and you have camps up, you want to immediately go back and start farming. So mm -hmm. you could have went here and taken Krugs and then Wraiths and whatever. You could also just take Wraiths, uh, Krugs, Recall, and then go bot lane, but you definitely don't want to. Straight up puff bot. Right, yeah. Well, and the reason why is because you don't have your ultimate, and bot lane is stronger than you. So this is really, really risky. Things could go pretty badly here if you go here. It's better to farm while your ulti is down, and then go fight when your ulti is back up. The other thing is that if you go bot lane here, perhaps you can make something happen. Um, but you're actually putting yourself really, really, really far behind because you're fighting with all of your camps up. Fighting with all of your camps up is a, a very bad thing to do because um, you're just basically wasting money, you know? you Krugs is 140 gold, Rates is like 105 or something, and then like your bottom side is probably worth like close to 350 gold. So that's going to be like at least, you know, 500, 600 gold that you're not getting right now. And, um. Yeah, plus if it goes really badly, the enemy jungler can just capitalize on it, right? Yes. Just deny me if the it whole... goes really badly, the enemy jungler goes in and takes your entire farm, and now you're super fucked. Yeah. Um, so you generally want to avoid doing that. The best thing to do is to fight while your jungle camps are on cooldown. It's just that sometimes that doesn't work out. For example, when Ari was invading you, your Krugs are up, but clearly you can't go do Krugs because Ari is being an idiot and you have to try to kill her. So yeah, that makes sense. But right here, you had a choice. You had a choice and you went to force a fight down bot lane instead of choosing to um, just farm up your own jungle. So that was definitely a mistake. Let me keep watching. This guy just suicides because he, he, he feels bad for you, man. Right here, <laughs> there's no reason to skip your your Gromp. Your okay. ulti is still a while up before it comes back up. I mean, bot lane is not even in a bad position anymore. And you can't gank without your ultimate. Uh, mid lane, you could probably make something happen mid lane, actually, honestly. If you go behind her, but... I don't know. Even even if you want to go make something happen in the mid lane, you can't go top lane, you guys. Not that. Even if you want to go make something in the mid lane, you still take this. Because there's just there's just no reason to walk by a camp. It's just like this, this, this really quick, and then you either fight, farm, do whatever you want to do next. Um, how much how much gold do you have, though? You have 1,050 gold. So an ideal back right now would be 1,500 gold back. Um, because you would get to upgrade your boots and the thing, you would need 1575, 1525? I think 1525, and you have 1100, so you can definitely get a really nice buy if you go back and do whatever. Yeah, what's good, Vi? Um, so yeah, I, I don't like that you walked by that camp. Let's keep going. Oh, okay, and you're backing too. I was actually pretty bad with Yeah, so you're not taking camps. Yeah, that's... yeah, I actually just checked the enemy uh, jungle if there were camps up for no really reason. Yeah. <laughs> hey, do they ha Oh shit, they're farming the jungle. Oh fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we just skinked bot lane and we died again. Okay, 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 okay. Alright, so... There we go. I was, I was, I guess, mostly focusing on your mechanics the first time you went through. Now that we're looking um, at your path, it kind of looks not so good. Can you, can you go back again to the uh, one moment where I just decided to back for no reason when I skipped the Grump? Sure. And just have one question. Would it also be possible if I skipped the Grump um, and did the wolf before I back, could I just half top, took, um, took refs, and then crux, and then back, and then try to go um, to bot again when my Grump is still up and see if I can make something, if not just take the Grump? Would that also be a possibility? That, no, that doesn't make sense, because okay. if you're already here, 
Mm -hmm. There's no point in then like leaving a path open to no. You're like you're like there. Taking a camp takes like four seconds. It's get it's walking up to that camp that takes a long time. Okay. So. It this and. I don't know. It it, it really. You don't you don't want to have. No no it just doesn't make sense because you're already there. I don't know. I don't know what else I can say about that. Actually, it just doesn't make sense I because you're already there. No, no, I got that. I get it. And the, the the other reason why is because like you get a better buy if you just take your camps. Because right now you're on runic echoes and just boost, but you could be on runic echoes and sword shoes. All right. Anyway, um, you go bot, you die, then you actually farm up again. Meanwhile, top lane is getting pushed. We get him. Cool. What do you do after this? Alright, you go get mid lane. It works out. You're... It does not work out in the end. I don't know. I, I think the biggest thing right now is that you're not farming enough when your ultimate is on cooldown. You're taking pretty risky fights one after the other. And um, I think from from my experience, overall, it's good to be aggressive, but it's not good to take too many risky fights. And like, you, you actually haven't farmed your bottom side for a really long time. I feel like I was making the same mistake a while ago. You're, you're being a little bit, you're focusing a little bit too much on games. And the best, the best thing I can tell you is like, it only takes 40 seconds to actually clear your camps and then, and then go fight, you know? And if you do that, you're going to be 10 times stronger. I feel like I kind of had a feeling of like looking at your items and be like, huh, you only have a revolver here. And now I understand why it's just because you weren't farming. All right. I think that's it though. I, I think. I think there's nothing else that we can really get out of that. Uh, the late game was lost. It, it was a team effort to lose the late game there because it was just people grouping up and fighting. But the other thing was that you were your champion was too weak going up to that point because he didn't get enough gold going up to that point. Um, the proper rhythm for the jungle that you're looking for is you can do one to two ganks pre six. Um, you could do one to two ganks pre six, but that's about it. Get six after six. Look for a solid kill with your first ultimate. When your mm -hmm. ultimate is on cooldown, farm up. Um, if you have just, if you're fresh out of like a big fight, just go farm. And if you just died, go farm. Cause those are kind of the situation when you're just out of a big fight, you want to kind of go farm because you've did, you, you've done your like dues to help your team. Now go get yourself stronger, get that gold farm up. And then um, if you just died, you have to go farm up because if you, something bad happens, you basically lose the game. You'll become too weak. And that's kind of what happened in the bot lane when you went one for one with the brand. Cause that's not good enough. Cause you don't have your farm. Um, and yeah, in general, I just think that you should be farming a little bit more when your ulti is down. And it's okay to go for kills uh, that are fairly guaranteed while your farm is up, but it's not okay if it's not. And you know what? I, can, I think the best advice I can actually give you is instead of thinking, can I get this kill? You should be mm -hmm. thinking like in in the opposite direction of like, can I get punished for trying to get this kill? You know, uh, uh, because I think, I think I know what you mean. Because because I've been there before, where like every single lane I look look at feels like I can get gold out of it. You know, like you look top, yeah, hell yeah, I can kill that Darius. Yeah, yeah, sure. You look mid, yeah, sure, I can kill that Ari. Yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, that that'll work out. Look bot lane. Oh yeah, Brent. Yeah, dude. No, no problem. Yeah, I can kill that too. Like, it's just like everything looks like money, and that's mm. a really bad place to be in because that's kind of like, you know, being impatient, being unrealistic, and 
and whatever. What's helped me to get over that kind of stuff is just like just pr not prioritizing killing the enemy, but prioritizing keeping myself alive. And uh, then then it, it's like your your estimates for whether or not you could do well in a lane become a lot better. And if you can't find something, then go farm. And honestly, it's better for the default to be go farm than the, than the default to be go fight. You want to start up from a farming base and then take time off of farming to go fight. And you want all of your ganks to be successful and whatnot, and as close to that as possible. I see. So what I should actually do before I gank anything really, if I see something, I should look at the mini map and look if if I die if I actually die here, um, what do I lose and stuff like that or what? Yes. Well, in okay. in fact, it's not even like what do I lose if I die. It's like oh well, is there a, a, an okay chance that I die here? Is there like a very low chance that I mm -hmm. die here? And generally, you only want to gank if there's like a very low. If something goes really wrong. And you die, that's that's okay. That's un unlikely, whatever, you can go for it. But if it's like, you know, you're looking at bot lane and you're like, well, those guys are fed. I don't have my ult. What are the chances of me dying? Uh, there's, there's an okay chance that you die here, right? If you don't have ult against a brand and a Lucian that are fed, you you might just die. That's what ended up happening. So, hmm. Generally see. speaking, I just think you're too comfortable with ganking without your ulti. That's another thing like like yeah i, I used to play uh Kha'Zix a lot so i think i get it from from oh, a yeah. champion to be honest <laughs> you can you do can it check this out go in. you can do it once you have two items then you can start looking for kills without your ulti maybe unless the game is like looking too rough or something if the game is looking even you can look for kills with two items but before that it's just like you're, you're taking a lot of risk i see all right. Do you have any questions for me? I think that's about it. Uh, not that much. I think most of the stuff, um, like the thing you told me that um, I'm kiting too much and stuff. I think I can just look that up in your videos uh, anyway. So yeah, you can take a look at how I clear the different camps. Yeah. All right. No, I don't really have any more questions. Right, cool. uh, I might hit you up again in like two two weeks or something if it's okay for you. And sure. Yeah. Yeah. Just give me like then. two two weeks, three weeks. Get get like a good you know like thirty forty games in, and then we'll see yeah. how much you improve. All right. Thank you very much. No problem. Have a good one. Okay. Have a nice stream. Bye. Bye.